everyone welcome back to our channel it's our last day our last full day so we have actually taken it a bit slower this morning and we've packed most of our stuff so that's all done and we don't have to worry about it um and we are now gonna go down for something to eat some breakfast and then we're gonna head over to universal studios i think or Islands of Adventure, one of them. We haven't obviously done the rope drop or the early entry, but it's been a really nice relaxing morning. And um, yeah, so we will take you along downstairs for breakfast. I just want to show you my v the view at the moment. So here is a lovely view after our thunderstorm last night. So it's all nice, all the rides are Working well, it looks like, and that's the view. Breakfast at the hotel, hash brown, scrambled egg, biscuit, bacon. I bought a Nesquik chocolate milk with my coffee. And we're sitting outside from the storm that happened yesterday. Now, you would not have think thought it had been a storm. Just waiting for that shuttle to Universal. Our last time this holiday, we're getting the shuttle, so. Our last time coming up here. Frankly, we need no strike that. I need your help. 
As some of you may know, I was once an operative for the CIA, who along with the FBI are now clients. During that time, I crossed paths with a man named David Webb. You probably already know of him by his company code name, Jason Moore. As you have passed all security checks and have clearance for this data, allow me to remind you of who, or more importantly, what exactly Jason Bourne is. He was recruited out of Army Special Forces into a clandestine program called Transto. This was all to create an elite squad of perfect secret assassins, immune to emotional conflict, incapable of questioning orders, put out into the world as sleeper agents, waiting for a code word to wake them up and give them their next target. I know. What could go wrong? Jason Bourne was the perfect soldier, until he wasn't. After years of unqualified successes, he failed a mission and disappeared. We now understand that when he resurfaced, he suffered from profound amnesia. I don't know about that picture, I don't know who I am! But he retained his program-enhanced intellect and his physical training, including mixed martial arts like Jeet Kune Do and Kali. Ultimately, he came to recover some of his memory, only to discover, unfortunately, that his own government had turned on him. You're a U.S. government property. You're a malfunctioning $30 million weapon. You've tortured yourself for a long time, Jason. So you don't know the truth. We're now sat in a shake, ice cream shake. Near the mystery machine. What's going to be doing over there? Some shaggy. So we've just seen the born um, stunt spectacular, and that was really good. Really good the way it was like you didn't know whether there was people on there or not, or some were real, and then some came in, and some were on the screen. But it was so good. Um, I didn't realise you're travelling home. And I've got some okay. milk. They've just come out of there, which is where we came And they're out. going back in. And they're going back and they're running. Yes, yeah, so we were just watching. Some people just come out of the show and they run back into the next show. That's funny. of Marilyn there and we're now waiting for the Blues Brothers, watch a bit of the Blues Brothers so that'd be good, four more um, shows and stuff today and Mark's gone to look at the arcades No, 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 hey, there will be hey, no party today. Put mashed potatoes on Monday. 
Hey, everybody, you looking for the boys in the sky? It's right next to you, honey. When you're looking for something, it's usually close to you. How you doing, baby? You all right? It's good to see you. Is this your first time out here? You're seven, so you come out here all the time. Oh, okay, so I see what's going on. You got yourself a little crew. Hey, everybody, how y'all doing? It's good to see you. Welcome back. Welcome, all of you, to the middle. You got these folks in the middle. I don't even know nothing, Jazz. I cannot believe you. I'll leave you for 10 seconds. You got some kind of, did I hear Elwood? Yeah. I knew it. The minute I heard the word Elwood, I knew there was trouble. I smell foolishness in the air. Let me tell y'all about Elwood. The consequences of your actions, Jazz, it may You better think about what you're trying to do. some of the Blues Brothers. Now I think we're going to go and queue up for the Simpsons ride. Um, we haven't got that many more to do here but we want to possibly go over to Islands and do some water rides and then we've done it so that will be quite good and then we can go back and have a, a swim in the pool because it's very hot today. Um, yeah, may go into Moe's as well so we'll take you in there as well. Here's Rose. Do you want anything here? And then it goes into a 
big price for you. Is it sweet? No. Okay. Pick you up. It's just a souvenir gift shop. Let's do that right. Called Twirl and Hell. No. But we're going to Simpsons. Yeah, but we're going to Simpsons. Yeah. I just went on the Simpsons ride. All I say is, if you don't mind the bump motion, but yeah, I didn't like it very much. Not really. It wasn't as bad as Nicky's making out. It was just a very bizarre ride. It was weird. Yeah, it was very Can you weird. Hear me? We're going on Transformers. Attention, all national personnel. This is General Morshard, now stage Q. I'll cut right to the chase. Our energon detectors indicate the Zeppelins are swarming the city. This is a coordinated strike. We are facing a heavy sustained attack. They appear to be after the all strike practice. General Mortower! General Mortower! Is that you, Stalwart? Yeah, it's me. Here comes the band of the Illuminium Warzone! Well, I'm sure it is for your own sake. Right. Listen, General. Right, okay. just been on Transformers and now I think we're going back to um, going back to the hotel just for a swim I think What's your marshmallow? <laughs> right, and I've got the, the biggest sugar cookie you can imagine. Mmm. Wow. The shorts. No. Mmm, that's nice. Pigeon Shadow cookie. I think you enjoyed it. No, you shared it. Oh, yeah. I'll let you have a little bit. Felt so, sorry for him. That cookie was yummy, so now, oh the pigeons come right near me, um, so now we are off out of the park. So I did to have something to eat, well I stayed about having something to eat, and I think we're going to have Panda Express again, unless we might want bow buns, I'm not sure, I'll show you, okay, Panda Express. Great box. Here's Panda Express. Is it busy? Oh no, it says it there. Express, honey, sesame chicken, string bean chicken and chow mein and market is bell buns without even me being able to take a picture of them. No, nah, they would have got cold. We're back out again and we are nearly at Islands of Adventure so let's see what rides we can do. We'd like to do Hagrid's again but let's just see what the um, times are.
रखें Um, I was a venture in Universal now. I I do like Universal, but the rides. What I'll do, I'll do a little extra video of Disney the Universal and tell you what I think, what I prefer, um, and go by that. But. Yeah, we're we're gonna be leaving at, leaving now. Probably won't come back now. I'm not sure if we're coming back tomorrow. We're leaving tomorrow, and um, yeah, I'm not sure what we're doing after. Maybe getting something to eat. We might go to the chocolate emporium and have a look there, and just take it from there. Right, there's the chocolate emporium. Hello. Shakes, vanilla one, and cookie one. Mm. They do shows that like concerts. I think so. Didn't they say RuPaul was yeah. in the so, so those queues there might not even be for the food there. No. Well, we just had a milkshake from the Chocolate Emporium, which is over there. And yeah, a bit underwhelmed. Wasn't what I expected. And I wouldn't be buying another one. I've never tried it, but I wouldn't be. $16 for a McDonald's milkshake. Yeah, basically. With, with a on top. $16 for a McDonald's milkshake with a cookie on top. So I'll leave it up to you what you think about that. But no, I won't be buying that again. And we were, I don't know what time is, I can't remember. But to go in inside to have something to eat, and it was like nine o'clock, and it's not out, hours before then. So yeah, right, we're back in the room now and we're just going to get our cups and we're going to go downstairs and have something to eat. Um, it's our last day, so tomorrow we're going home, so not sure what we're doing tomorrow. Going to have a nice lie-in maybe and yeah, take it from there. So it's been a good holiday, it's been a bit exhausting, but I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a review of... Universal and Disney and I'm gonna put it up just 
for my um I'm gonna let you know what I enjoy but I'm also gonna give you pros <coughs> sorry pros and cons for Universal and Disney and then yeah just thought I would put that up but we are gonna go down and have something to eat now right we're just outside you might hear some um talking that is the film that's on i have no idea what it is because we're waiting for our um dinner so yeah it's lovely sitting outside you might as well sit outside when you can to eat your dinner so we're just waiting for that and i'll show you that when it comes i've got to take a video of our dinner and it's all gone now um mark's gonna go in the pool but i'm not so yeah, I'm gonna go and sit by the pool. Pool? Can't see well. Oh, he's over there. There he is. I think. Yeah. There's a film, which is Jungle Cruise. Just sitting here. Let's go. Feeling very tired. I'm gonna go up soon.